Hello there, everyone. It's Miss Stephanie from the Chester Public Library back with another brain break. If you watched our first brain break, it was about breathing and calming down and we called it hot chocolate breathing. This is going to be another calm down activity that you can use if you're a kid or you can use if you're a grown up too. And this one is called the five, four, three, two, one grounding technique or activity. So this is an activity that helps you get calmed down if you're feeling really upset or anxious as we like to call it. That's a fancy word for worried and upset or maybe stressed out or angry. If you're feeling like you need to take some time and calm down, this is another activity you can put in your toolbox for when you're feeling like you really don't know what to do. You have those tools already for you. So the hot chocolate breathing can be part of your toolbox and this five, four, three, two, one can also be part of your toolbox. So let's learn how to do it together. The first step is to take some deep breaths in and out. If you want, you can do your hot chocolate or your pizza breathing too. So once you've taken a few deep breaths to start to calm yourself down, it's okay if you're not calm or relaxed yet. That's just the beginning of the activity. So for this activity, we're going to start with five and we're going to count all the way down to one. So five, four, three, two, one. So for five, what I want you to do is focus on five things that you can see in the room around you. So take a look around and pick out five things you can see. I'll count them out for you and what I can see. I see a sweater. I see a bamboo plant. I see a necklace. I see a blanket. And I see a tree if I look outside the window. So that's five things I can see. All right. So that has my brain thinking about all the things around me. We're going to go down to four. Next, it's four things I can feel. I feel the chair I'm sitting in. I feel the bumps and the ridges on my sweater. I feel an itchiness in my nose. And I feel the carpet under my feet. So I looked and felt around to see and feel four things around me. Next, we've done five things you can see, four things you can feel. We're going to do three things you can hear. Hmm, if I listen really hard, I can hear cars on the road outside. I can hear my toes moving on the carpet. And I think I heard a bird outside. It's three things I can hear. Now, once you start focusing on all the things around you, you start to focus a little bit less on what's worrying you inside. So let's continue with our activity. We did five things we can see, four things we can feel, three things we can hear. Now, two things that I can smell. Hmm. I smell the coffee in the kitchen and I smell the laundry soap from when I did laundry. So that's two things I can smell. This activity is also helping us focus on our counting and our senses. So that means we have one more sense left. So we did five things we can see, four things we can feel, three things we can hear, two things we can smell, and this last one is a little a little silly, but one thing you can taste. And if you can't taste anything right now, then think of one thing that you like to taste. Right now, I can taste the granola that I had for breakfast. It has a little taste of raspberry that's sweet and a little tart. So we did our five, four, three, two, one activity. By the end of this, you should start to feel a little bit more calm than you did in the beginning. 
If you don't, that's okay. You can go through it again, or you can pick another activity out of your toolbox. We're gonna keep building our toolbox with brain break activities like this and the hot chocolate breathing. We're gonna do all sorts of different ones so you can have them anytime you need them. Because when you're getting really upset or scared or mad, it's really hard to think about what thing you wanna to use to calm down. But if you already have a toolbox or a list of things that help you calm down in your brain or written down or in a different part of the room, it'll be easier for you to pick one and calm down because you don't have to think about it in the moment. You can just pick one out of your toolbox and hopefully help you calm down. Not all the same tools are gonna to work for everybody and not all the same tools are gonna work all the time. So that's why we need to have lots of tools in our toolbox so we can pick a different one for every time we're feeling a certain way. So that was our five, four, three, two, one grounding activity. And I hope it's helpful to you. Grownups, you can use this too. I use this sometimes when I can't sleep or if I'm having a hard time calming down my brain before I go to bed, that's a good time to use it. So you wanna make sure that you're focusing on all the things around you so whatever's worrying you inside doesn't get as much attention because if you don't give it as much attention, it can't bother you as much. So this has been another brain break. I hope you liked it. I hope you'll use it and try it out. And I hope you'll join me next time for another brain break activity so we can put another tool in our toolbox for our mental health and our overall calm. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.